In the summer of 1938, Yezhov was relieved from his post as head of the NKVD and was tried and executed. Lavrenty Berrier took Yezhov's role as the head of the NKVD, and on the 17th of November 1938, a joint decree of Sovnarkom USSR, a government institution, and the Central Committee of VKP called the decree about arrests, prosecutor supervision, and the course of investigation. This banned the mass operations of the NKVD and was a part of NKVD Order Number 00762. As well as this, this also suspended implementation of death sentences, which signalled the end of the Soviet purges. Although the Great Purge had ended, arrests and executions lasted throughout Stalin's reign until his death in 1953. However, these weren't as extreme as during the Great Purge. Although the mass arrests had finished once Yezhov was replaced, important figures and high military commanders who were arrested in 1938 under Yezhov were still executed in 1939 under Berrier. Furthermore, when the relatives of those who had been executed in 1937-1938 asked about their fate, they were told by the NKVD those arrested relatives were sentenced to 10 years in a labour camp with no correspondence to the relatives. And when the 10 years had ended in 1947-1948 and the relatives didn't appear, the MGB, the Soviet State Security, told the relative that the person arrested had died in imprisonment.